mention today is National Beer Day. What better way to celebrate than with some refreshing beer? 41 beers, by the way, craft beers to be exact. Some one-of-a-kind appetizers, and of course, Texas Frito Pie. <laughs> Joining us now are Jim Mills and David Manis with State Fair Kitchen and Bar. Hey guys, how's hey, it going? Hey, what's going on? You guys have such a cool restaurant. I came and dined there uh, about a week ago for the first time. For people who haven't been before, tell us a little bit about what they can expect because this is not like State Fair in the carnival sense. It's State Fair as in F-A-R-E. Correct. In, like the local fair, the favorites of Texas. Great food, great service. Now the menu really focuses on Southeast Texas and regional American food, but it's really casual and really fun. We have a great beverage program, lots of cocktails, and as you said, 41 taps. Well, and nobody knows that better than David, your head bartender right. here. Yep. So we're going to get to the beer in just a moment, but I was doing a little research, uh, and I, I was hoping you guys would humor me and play a little game for a minute. Ooh, okay. You guys have everything uh, on your menu from fried oysters to Frito pie to this uh, pickle dip we're about to eat. So why don't we test your knowledge about some of these things? I hope <laughs> Okay. Okay. What was the first... Frito pie recipe published in Texas. What year was that recipe? Did you get multiple choice published? or anything? Multiple choice. Okay. Was it A, 1925, mm -hmm. B, 1949, C, 1963? And again, this was the first published recipe for Texas Frito pie. Hmm. 1925, 1949, 1960. I'm going with A. I'm going A, yeah. Jim is the correct answer. 1949 was I'm the first I'm glad you got that. Recipe. That's good. That's okay, good. Okay, now pickle dip is a popular dish at State Fair. It's delicious. I ate the whole thing. I My wait friends to try were horrified. Um, in the UK, dill is used as a key ingredient in which type of pie? A chicken pot pie, a sweet potato pie, or a fish pie? Fish. I'm going with fish. Fish. I'm dead. Final sweet answer. Potato. Sweet potato. David said sweet potato just to be different. You're correct. It's fish pie. Yay. All right. Now, also to move it along very quickly, you guys, uh, you have four different types of mac and cheese on the menu at State. It'll blow your mind. I, I'm like, of mac and cheese yeah. you have. I mean, they have everything in it. When was the first known recipe using pasta and cheese? Did it come in the 14th century, the 17th century, or the 19th century? 14th. 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 And you're all right. Correct. Yay! Nicely done. Okay, so, players right here. so okay. for your prize, why don't we start mixing up some of this pickle? I'm dip. smelling it. I can smell the dill and the pickle, and I'm like, Ugh. it's a really simple dish. So let's start with the cream cheese in the bowl. Okay. Cream cheese in the bowl. Okay. And the cream cheese should be at room temperature and quite soft. It'll make it a lot easier. So if you want to make this at home, are you using a whole like eight ounce block of cream cheese? It's eight ounces of cream cheese, 16 ounces of sour cream, and a cup and a half of chopped dill pickles with their juice. Okay and a tablespoon and a half of dill, and just a little bit of black pepper. So you're mixing that good. Okay, Derek, get after so it, do you, Yeah. Get after you it. Whip you whip that, and I whip this. You gotta whip it good. Okay. Whip my booty? Yeah, I whip okay. your booty. That's it. So yep. the cream cheese gets so nice. You wanna get the cream, room cream cheese smooth. Okay. At room temperature okay. makes it much easier. Yeah. Okay. And once it's smooth, then you're gonna stir in, in the uh, sour cream. Okay. Here, this will help you. Let me help oh, you. Oh, there you go. Thank See, you. you're the pro. Yeah, well, you know. Do I have to mix that first before adding the pickles? Yes. Can I add the pickles? If I can take a little sampling of it, you can before. use your whisk now because it's it's light it's enough. enough. How to much do pickle? That. Yes. Here, I'll take that from you. Okay. How much pickle can I use? All of it. Oh, so heck yeah! My chef skills here. I might just there like, you go. I'm gonna taste test the pickle though. Pickle dip, oh by the way. Oh my God, I love I had never had it. So I love the way you guys serve it. We'll throw in some salt, pepper, and a little bit of dill, and some salt. Can I do the salt? What's it's the pickles are salty enough? Oh, so what's this? It is salt, but I was using it for other things. Oh, nice. Okay. Let me give it one more good shot here. You're right. Pickles are very salty. Yeah. And then you guys serve it with these barbecue chips. Homemade barbecue potato chips. That's so a, a that special too. recipe. Now, I mean, let's just take some of this. Uh huh. Back with this tool, and we're going to put right. some right in there. On Look their own, they're delicious, by the way. Just that is plated. Right. There you go. I'm going to do a little dipper. Dip. Try it at home, guys. Can I try it here? Sure. Okay. Okay, so let's move on. along, by yeah, the way, while Kristen is sampling this. So this is a new this dish way. that we're going to put on the menu. It's called Texas Sampler. Okay. It has a uh, country ham, cooked country ham, our tangy Fine. pimento cheese, house pickles. We have carrot, zucchini, and cauliflower. Oh, that's awesome. Pickle and pork. traditional deviled eggs. Nice. And these are seasoned saltines. Oh, that's amazing. That looks great. And your, and your pimento dip, is it a typical or is it it's, a little flair? It's a, a little flair. It has cream cheese and mayonnaise, so it's not all mayonnaise. Oh, great. I like and that. There's a little bit of dry mustard. 
mustard. Oh, dry mustard. Don't tell my husband. He's not a mushroom, but. So listen, before we get to some of these other dishes, David, I want you to describe to us what we're seeing here. This is a, like a flight of beer. So Beautiful. one of the big things that we do at State Fair is going to be our flights. We like to allow people to taste and try different beers that they wouldn't always want to buy a full one of. Oh, cheers. So right here we have a Texas flight. Um, which is all beers from here in Texas, which is one of our biggest flights. Um, we you guys have 41 like craft brewery beers on tap? Correct. And they're always changing, they're always rotating. Um, you can always find something new on there. And if you don't know what you like, our bartenders are always willing to help you choose something. Yes, your bartenders at all your places are legit. I go there for cocktails sometimes and I'm very happy when I leave. That's what I'm saying. Anyways, so moving let's on. Check out uh, this lovely table over <laughs> here. Ah, this is beautiful. Jim, the Frito pie. Oh my gosh. There's a Frito pie made with my special all beef chili Jimmy's Texas Red. We call it. No tomato, mm. no beans, no chili powder. Oh, really? But yummy. Uh, yeah, jalapenos is saying yes we to me. We put queso and queso. shredded cheese on our Frito pie. Cheese makes everything a bit better. Of onions on top and some fresh jalapenos around. You guys do a white queso. You know, it's funny when I mm, ate at your good. restaurant last week. I was so full on the appetizers that when dinner came, I still right. ate that. But wow, it was quite a night of eating. What do you have over here? A smoked double pork chop with bacony green beans and uh, mashed potatoes, but the pork chop has a root beer glaze on it. Oh, awesome. So it's two, it's two chops together. That's your double it's chop. Double chop. That's yes. nice. And the crab cakes, I'm last but not least. Yeah. Crab cakes, fresh crab meat from uh, Galveston Bay, served with uh, Creole remoulade and zucchini slaw. That's awesome. I mean, you might as well go there, right? I mean, don't need stop. To go there. Yeah, hello. David, just That's about so a minute awesome. left, but tell us about some of these beers that you have in this flight over here. Uh, so this flight is going to be uh, an our IPA flight. So all of these oh. are going to be different IPAs from mm. different breweries. Um, I think we have a West Coast Double IPA, um, Deep Ellum IPA, so just different breweries versions of what an IPA could be. Okay. Oh yeah, definitely an IPA. It has such a distinct taste. It's that hoppiness. Yeah. I'd be like, woo! I'll try them it all. It puts a little pep in your step. So if someone wants to Good come though. into State Fair, you guys have a Houston Life special if they stop in, right? First time. Uh, some sort of special. Yeah, I think first it's 10, ten people. That I believe it's in. ten. Yeah. Pickle dips on us. And let oh me tell you, gosh. it's worth it. You better get there fast because it is delicious. <laughs> that is awesome. There's the info right there on your screen. The first people to mention Houston Life get a free pickle dip appetizer. Um, tell them you're my cousin. Maybe they'll hook you up anyway, right? <laughs> I have a lot of cousins in Texas. No, I don't. Thank you guys so much, Jim. Seriously. It's great to see you, David. Yes, very good to see great you, David. Nice to meet you. you. Yeah. If you'd like to try one of these delicious dishes or check out their menu online, just visit statefairtexas.com. And coming up next, from dog heroes to new shower curtains, we're we're going to check out what's trending with one of our co-host hopefuls, Cheryl Pixio. We'll be right back.